The Ann Arbor Fire Department appears to have fallen victim to embezzlement, and the man accused is the former chief. Sean Lay reports the most disturbing part of the story may involve which money went missing. Sean. Good evening from Ann Arbor. This is a big deal, and here's why. Police officers here and firefighters, every time they receive a paycheck, they kick in a contribution to a fund. And when a police officer and firefighter dies, their family is cut a check immediately to help with funeral expenses. Now, a former fire chief here in Ann Arbor is accused of dipping into that fund for himself. No answer at the Westland home of former Ann Arbor Fire Chief Aulis Chuck Hubbard. Hubbard was Ann Arbor's chief from 2011 until he retired in 2014. The, the entire complex is burned up. This is the chief speaking with Local 4 at a past fire scene. Tonight, Hubbard is out on bond, charged with a felony that prosecutors say took place while Hubbard was chief back in 2013. Hubbard is charged with one count of embezzlement involving the Ann Arbor Police and Fire Benefit Fund. That is a deeply personal fund to every uniformed police officer and firefighter in Ann Arbor. With every paycheck, officers and firefighters make a contribution to the fund. When an active duty or retired police officer or firefighter passes away, police and fire take great pride in handing a check immediately to the surviving family to help them cover funeral costs and other expenses they suddenly face. Local fours learned that during his time as chief, Aulis Hubbard had full control over that fund. How much money is missing? Michigan State Police investigators are still looking into that key question. Former Chief Hubbard goes back to court a little later this month. He's facing a felony. The official charge is called embezzlement as an agent or trustee over a fund worth $1,000 to $20,000. Kimberly Devin, we reached out to his, to his attorney. We did not hear back from him. Back to you. We're hearing anything from the fire department then. Yes, talk to the chief today over the phone. He didn't want to comment about the case. He did want to point out that no chief or administrator is now over that fund. Rank and file members control it exclusively. Yeah. All right, Sean.